Welcome back, folks, to another Let's Play. Today we're going to play a game that I've been waiting for a very, very long time to play. I know that I said I would play um, a point-and-click adventure next, but I lied, basically. So we're playing, going to play Sin, a game that was made in 1998, or released in 1998, to be more precise. It was, um, back then, it was a direct competitor to Half-Life. In fact, it was released one week before Half-Life on October 31st, 1998, so it was released on Halloween. Um, they Apparently they rushed the game a bit, which um, probably explains a lot of bugs that the first version of Sin had. That was probably also the reason why it didn't do so well on sales, um, yeah, and I've never played it. Um, because basically back then, when I was still a teenager and I was in this video rental store, there was a, I had to make a choice between Half-Life and Sin. On the one hand, Sin had the chick with big boobs on the cover. On the other hand, Half-Life had zombies and come on, you can't beat zombies. So I chose Half-Life. And of course, the rest is history. Nobody, almost no one, remembers Cine anymore, or even the company which developed it, namely Ritual Entertainment. Um, Ritual Entertainment was founded, amongst others, by Mark Dochtermann, which was one was was the lead programmer of Rise of the Triad. They developed some other games which you might have a slight chance of knowing, like Heavy Metal Fact 2, or the first expansion pack to Quake 1, Source Scourge, Scourge of Armagon. Um, there was a, mis there, there was a mis mission pack for Sin, which was is called Wages of Sin, and they also wanted to make a sequel, but apparently there, um, well, there were some problems, let's just say. Because in, um, in January two, 2001, Mark Dochterman and Ron Diamond, or Diamond, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, basically left Ritual Entertainment and went on to found another company, which also makes made games and is still making games, but games of a different kind, let's just say. This company, um, I shall not even honor by saying its name. Um, so yeah, so in January 2001, basically Ritual Entertainment split up, which caused the development to be disrupted and so Sin 2 was never made. And apparently this split up was um, not really planned. I'm quoting here, um, the dot plan file of Richard Gray, aka the level lord. We don't know what a dot plan file is. Before, well, before the time before Twitter, what Twitter was was a dot plan file, simply a piece of text, which were, was on your server, in which you could retrieve by using a service which is called Finger. I'm now reading to you what Richard Gray wrote on January 9th, 2001. I don't know what happened to Mark and Ron. All we know is that they were here one day and then gone the next. The offices were cleaned out and the only reason we know about this mumbo-jumbo stuff, mumbo-jumbo is the name of the company which Mark Dochtermann and Ron Diemann founded, we know about this mumbo-jumbo stuff. Um, the only reason we know about this mumbo-jumbo stuff is from documentation they left behind. We had our lawyers investigate but all we know is that they are somewhere in California right now, probably ordering sandwiches they can't afford. Yeah, so that was the um, final nail to the coffin of Sin 2 and the Sin franchise almost, because Ritual Entertainment still made um, basically um, a sequel to Sin, but which was called... which should have been released in episodes, nine in total. So this 
and in the first episode actually appeared. It was um, one of the first games, um, I think, to use the source engine of Half-Life. A little bit of irony here. This was called Sin Episodes Emergence. This was the game was released in on May 10th, 2006. Apparently this game didn't do so well on sales because um, they sold it for $15, I think, and so we yeah, um, are. It didn't sell so well. Um, so this led to some uh, people leaving the company, most notably the vice president. I'm quoting here the vice president Thomas Tayden. After putting one and a half years into building the foundation and first episode, many suspect, suspected that it had failed to live up it to expectations. So yeah, um, that was in December 2006 and finally in on the 21st January 2007, the company, which I promised not to honor by saying its name, but I will do now, Mambo Jumbo bought Ritual Entertainment. Yeah, Mambo Jumbo is um, a game, a company that um, creates games. Games, yeah, with such titles like Fiddles and Cross Pirate Riddles. I didn't make this up, I swear. Sweet Shop Rush, Clutter Free, Who is the Void, and Who forget, Could Forget This Classic, Asian Riddles 2. Yeah. Apparently a company that produces cheap, um, casual games. And that was the end, basically, to the company Ritual Entertainment. Um, yeah. And on the 30th January this year, Sin was finally released on great old games because um, it was not released earlier because of this mumbo jumbo stuff so they apparently they couldn't agree with them to release the game so now I'm finally able to play it and I will shut up and I will start the game we're going to play on medium difficulty because that's reasonable I guess and we hear the introduction. You're listening to KILL 105 FM, Freeport's best music. Sec Forces Emergency, Code Delta 9. Freeport City Bank was just taken over. Robbery in progress. Damn. Any word on how many there are? There's an undisclosed number of assailants with hostages still inside. They're heavily fortified and deeply entrenched already. Get the assault chopper ready. Already done that, boss. <laughs> good work. What's the word from our team in that sector? It's not good, boss. We've lost contact and suspect that they've been cut off, or worse. All available HC units. Hostiles are armed and extremely dangerous. Approach with deadly force. Hey, Chief, are we locked and loaded yet? Yes, sir. Ready to roll. Roger that. Hey, Blade, give him hell. You got it. Okay, Chief, let's punch it. Yeah. And we're going to give him that. Um, we're going to play as Colonel John Blade, the guy on the right you see there, the handsome dude. And our first mission is sort of a tutorial. We're going to shoot things from a helicopter. And this pigeon will get cut. Yeah. Hey, that was a good shot. That's nothing to work with last week. I yeah, shot let's the revenge the kitchen. Uh, uh, let's uh, revenge uh, the uh, pigeon. Uh, 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 yeah, those rent a cop guys are whipped. Hey, what's that sound? This is so bad. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Yeah. 
original entertainment developed this game. Um, apparently. Remember, so boss, the civilians are not switching. Yeah. To keep the non hostile by the end can most Let me add them. I mean, anything in this game, but you can also destroy most things in this game. Like this, um, I'm going to show you in a minute. Yeah, try not to get stuck here. Way to hit the mark there, You can shoot this billboard. Nice shooting, Tex. That billboard ain't getting up. Uh, I never like that billboard anyway. Yeah. Try for a rooftop landing at the bank. We can destroy most things here in this game. Um. Sir, I'll drop you here and dust off. And we've completed our first little tutorial mission. You see, we've there are primary primary objective objectives. Hello. And secondary objectives, um, yeah, ob obviously the primary runs are the ones you have to fulfill. This is taking far longer than anything we had planned. If you don't start moving faster, I'll get someone who will. We're moving as fast as we can, sir. Well, it's not fast enough. Keep moving while I go check our perimeter. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm going to move Clear you. the bank out, boss. We need to end this. Since I've played this game before, um, just to check the recording, I know that there's this guy here. Um, yeah, there, you can interact with lots of stuff. I can punch the plant, which does nothing. Um, but you can also interact with this terminal here. And if I would know a number of a bank account, like 6666, that's apparently not a valid account number. I could deposit some money. And that was the console. Let's move on. And let's move. Uh, sorry. Let's shoot some guys. For instance, this one. Hey, you. Yeah. Oh, Rock and roll. Yeah. Um, as you can see, oh. in this game. Rock and roll. Uh, maybe or maybe you don't see it, but it makes, um, it matters um, which body part you hit first. Someone used the door. This person is now dead. Okay, this is a very fast-paced action game. It's not like Half-Life, but it's more um, puzzle-oriented. Slow pace, but um, relatively good. Already got it. This is really... You get nope, your money already got well, basically. Um, already you got it. Do some nice shoot. It's a really oh, nope, fun don't game. It. Um, I've only played, I've only ever played this um, first mission, so I can't say much about the game. But already I got already got it. Do like already the first oh. one. And they are hostages, um, which I tried not to shoot. Like this. See? And there are some guy trying to shoot me. He's not there. And there's another guy. The steward is gone from the already got, already got this guy. There's an armor. And there's a woman. Run to safety. Thank yeah. you, officer. I'm doing just my services, ma'am. And you can, as a promise. You can destroy. This isn't the shooting range, boss. Yeah. You can destroy most things, most furniture in the game. I will try to um, destroy got my it. Already got it. enthusiasm. And we'll. I will be probably very enthusiastic about, about this game when we come back, folks. So until next time, folks. Until next.